Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's been a couple of weeks since I've done a update on my aeroponics setup that I had built. Just thought I'd show you some of the progress. Right here, you can see this is the romaine lettuce that I am regrowing from um, the bottoms of two romaine heads that we had with a salad a couple of weeks ago. You can see these are really doing quite nice. They're um, almost uh, inches tall here now. Um, peppers are doing fine. I had started some sprouts off just to see how they would do um, in an aeroponic setup. This uh, tomato plant was about two inches tall last week when I put it in and uh, it's coming along quite nicely. Some of you have asked for an update on my uh, green onion regrow. Well, take a look at this. Let me pan back. This is ready to be uh, harvested. I've already cut this down once and uh, what I do is I just cut it off here with my pruning uh, shears and we eat this. So this one's going to be eaten tonight probably. What I wanted to do show you before I did that was just how this root system is growing. Um, it's, it just keeps going here. Cut off the heads and uh, keep growing your lettuce. Uh, should I say your onions? I've got a couple more um, in my kitchen that I've started off in the window. Uh, another uh, five or six heads. So I want to I want to fill these up so we have a constant supply of of green onions or scallions. Um, basil plants which were started just from cuttings and nothing else uh, have started to uh, produce some bigger leaves. So as you can see this, uh, this setup's working quite nicely so far. Next thing I'd like to update you on is my deep water culture. Um, right here is the making choy which has been uh, doing okay for the last couple weeks. This is about three weeks old now. Um, I did have a problem with my nutrient. What I had uh, been told at the hydroponics store was, oh, it's okay if you use vinegar to pH your um, water. Well, what I found is, yes, it may pH it nicely when you mix all your nutrients, but that um, buffering capacity disappears after a while and I was wondering why I was starting to get some yellowing and when I tested my pH it was over 8. So what I've done today is dumped my reservoir. I've uh, mixed out some fresh nutrients. Um, this is my cherry pepper plant. It's really really coming along nice. And uh, the basil, you can see these, these are huge. These are starting to get really big. But the one thing I did want to really point out, if you remember my butter crunch lettuce. Uh, well, it's time for a harvest too. Look at the size of this. This is, uh, this is tonight's salad. So, so far everything's going really nice. And um, I just wanted to give you a quick update because it's, I know it's been a while, but life gets busy. One well, last thing I'd just like to show you is Pepper Alley. <laughs> That's what I affectionately call it now. Um, I've already topped all these pepper plants. Um, just need just to say that if that's been done, they were twice this height, uh, but I'm trying to get bushier plants, so that's what I've done. These are probably going to go in the ground in about five weeks outside. We're still got some cooler temperatures out here, so that's how those are looking. Those of you that may be afraid to top your pepper plants don't be that way. Uh, like I said this was actually twice as tall as it was but I topped this um, about a week and a half ago. You can see the top leaves are still coming up but look at all this new leaf at the bottom. Um, this will uh, give you a nice much more fruit and I'll probably be topping these top leaves off again. Uh, but this is what I'm aiming for right here. You can see this is the same on on all the plants Really coming along nice, so I'll do another update on these later, but uh, for today 
nothing much more other than some progress report. Thanks for visiting. Please subscribe and uh, we'll see you again.